Shadows of Doubt by Jane Sheps Bill stepped out of the taxi, dragging his backpack. The streetlights were barely strong enough to illuminate his house, which stood dark and silent. This was normal, as his wife and daughter were usually asleep by two in the morning. He too was usually asleep by two in the morning and was finding it exceedingly difficult to stay awake at the moment. The thought of his soft, comfortable bed waiting for him was the only thing helping him put one foot in front of the other. Already half asleep, he managed to unlock the door in complete silence and snuck in like a ninja. His goal was simple to enter the bedroom without waking up his daughter whose teething had been making her night increasingly difficult. As he closed the front door, the small ray of light from the street was cut off, plunging him into total darkness. Normally, this would not have been an issue, as they had automatic lights. And while these lights worked rather well, there were moments when he wished they had a light switch. This was one of those moments. He stopped and wiggled hoping the sensor would catch him. Nothing happened. At this point, he had two options. He could either wave at the wretched sensor in hope that it would pick up at least some of the movement, or he could navigate through the darkness hoping that his daughter had not left any booby traps behind. Too tired to care about the possible toys along the way, he stepped through the darkness. He had taken only one step before his little toe hit the leg of the small table. He dropped his bag, grabbed his foot with both hands and pressed his lips together to stop himself from cursing. A low growl pierced darkness, making his skin crawl. His Rottweiler Frida was waking up, and she did not sound like she was able to recognize him in the dark. He had heard her growl numerous times before, but never as threatening as then. Frida, he whispered, still grabbing his foot and wiggling his body like a boy, hoping to trigger the sensor. The growl continued, getting deeper and louder. Frida, it's me, he hissed. The sensor still could not register him. His brain began to calculate possible escape routes. What if Frida did not recognize him? Could he jump fast enough to the front door, find the handle in the dark, and then run outside before she pounced on him? Couldn't he get his phone out in time to switch on the flashlight before she tackled him to the ground? Somehow all options seemed like they would take too long. All the blood in his body curdled as he heard her clothes hit the tiles. Realizing that his only option was to get her to recognize him, he raised his hands above his head and waved furiously at the sensor, whispering hoarsely, Frida, it's me! Panic flooded him as he heard the second set of claws scrape against the tiles. Finally, the sensor registered him and mercifully switched on the lights. Frida stood hunched over by her bed, her teeth exposed and her eyes gleaming. She was in full attack mode, looking groggy and a little confused from being suddenly woken up. It took a few seconds for her eyes to adjust to the sudden burst of light then Bill could pinpoint the exact moment she recognized him. Her eyes cleared and widened, the growl in her throat died, and she froze mid-movement, watching Bill with her lip stuck to her teeth. They stared at each other for a long time. Bill still had his hands above his head, frozen in the waving motion. His heart was pounding painfully against his chest. He was heaving as if he had just run a marathon, or, given his level of fitness, a flight of stairs. Frida licked her snout, glared at Bill, and lay back down, letting out an exasperated grumble. She buried her face in the mattress of her bed, her grumbling muffled by the mattress. Bill walked down the corridor, wide awake. He was seriously considering investing in lights that would switch on the moment someone opened the front door. No sensors, no motion detectors that would ignore him, and, of course, an emergency light that could be switched on from several points in the corridor. It would not just be an investment in the house, it would be an investment in their safety.